Hey, we're here with Frank Azor, Vice President and General Manager of Alienware XPS. Frank, congratulations on 20 years of Alienware. Um, for starters, take us all the way back to 20 years ago. What were you doing during that time? What was that time like for you? How did this all get started? Well, I was actually a, a kid in high school, just playing uh, games with my friends, and uh, I came across these two guys that wanted to start a company that would build computers specifically for gamers, because it was really hard back then to build a gaming PC. We had DOS, we had Windows, we had 16-bit, 32-bit architectures, you had 2D video cards, 3D video cards, and nobody really cared about gaming computers or any or games on the PC at all. It was all kind of like console, console, console. So our friends would come to us and ask us, hey, can we want to play with you guys like Doom? and Wolfenstein and can you help us uh, rig up our computer so that it can play with you and little by little that just started happening, or, or happening organically um, and then we finally sent a couple machines into a, a few magazines to get reviewed they absolutely loved them and here we are well you guys are so iconic for PC gaming but you you've blazed trails with so much more than that now when you look at the past 20 years what are you most proud of Wow, it's, there's a lot. Um, you know, over 20 years, you, you accomplish a lot and you fail a lot too. I'm probably very proud of all of our failures because they've taught us a lot over those 20 years. Um, but really, it's it's around the industry and our role in getting PC gaming and gaming in general to where it's at today. Um, we were pioneers in a lot of different new form factors. Like we were the first gaming notebook. We were first liquid cooled gaming desktop that's out there. It's really around all these different risks that we've taken over the years and. Some of them pan out, most of them do, and some of them don't, but we're not afraid to take those risks. And we weren't afraid to take them 20 years ago, and we're still not afraid to take them today. So that culture and that mindset, that's one of the things that we've preserved that I'm really proud of. So you're rolling out some fresh hardware now, and among other things, this includes VR-ready capabilities mm -hmm. on some of your new laptops. Talk a bit about that, you know, the, from the technology side, what makes that possible? Yeah, VR is a really exciting time for us. We've been looking at VR for a long time, even before Oculus emerged and this whole new revolution that's been occurring and um, there were so many problems with it around the expense of the VR at the time there was no content you have to really develop the content uniquely for VR you can't just take a PC game or a console game and port it to VR um, so it, it kind of always uh, held the technology at bay for us and we saw the potential through our uh, like um, the, the companies we would meet with and we'd see the military simulators that they were developing and they were like some of the most immersive first-person shooter games you could ever do because they were actually military simulators so when this stuff started emerging with Oculus and with uh, Steam and HTC, we got really excited about it. And uh, what we've done this year is we've announced a whole new set of products all centered around being VR capable. So back in June, we launched uh, uh, two new desktops, a brand new Area 51 uh, refresh that was VR certified. And we also launched a brand new system, the Aurora, um, which allows you to get into a VR configuration for less than $1,000. And then just recently, we announced a brand new 13, 15, and 17 inch notebooks and all of them even our 13 inch uh, is VR certified and VR capable so they all feature Nvidia graphics we have we start with the 1060 on the 13 inch we go up to all the way up to the 1080 on the 17 inch uh, and they're just really awesome products they're brand new we develop them from the ground up centered around the new Pascal graphics from Nvidia and uh, they're just beautiful fully featured I mean incredible battery life and yeah they're all available right now all right well finally um, any predictions on where you'll be in 20 years um, no, nah, you know, it's hard to predict that far out. <laughs> we really don't know where we'll be in 20 years. Um, our, our focus now is in continuing to elevate the gaming experience. I mean, that's our core of everything that we do. We're gamers ourselves. We absolutely love playing all types of games, PC and console. So I hope that in the future, um, you'll be able to play your game on whatever platform you want. It's not these borders between platforms are not going to exist like they do today. Uh, and we're working with Microsoft on their Xbox Play Anywhere to help lead that initiative. Um, I think VR is going to be uh, a key part of our lives. I don't know if it's going to eclipse our traditional PC gaming usage um, in the next 20 years. I think it's possible. I think augmented reality as well is going to be a really interesting part of our lives over the next 20 years. Um, and the way in which we compute, the, the way in which we uh, use our technology devices is going to change not too differently than what smartphones did for us. Smartphones put the internet kind of in our pocket and that took everything that's on the internet and suddenly made it accessible to us anywhere and everywhere that we are. VR is going to create all types of new opportunities like that. It's going to create new industries. It's going to disrupt a bunch of industries. Um, so it's a scary time, but it's also a really fascinating time. And I've n I can't remember being more excited about kind of the next 20 years that's ahead of us. So I'm pretty excited about it.
Well, thank you so much, Frank, and congratulations. Thank you very much.